Okay. In this video, I'm going to show you kind of the basics of using Microsoft Teams for my course. So the first thing you want to do is you want to download the Microsoft Teams app. So go to the App Store and download it. Now KCC has already paid for you to get any Office 365 product. So you go in, get the Teams app, sign in with your KCC email and your KCC password, and you will get the app for free. Once you get the app, Go ahead and open it up and you will see that I have added you to a team. All right, so you may have several other teams. You may have already been in another course. If you're not, there will be only one team that shows up here, uh, my class, which is Math 105. So one of the things we're going to want to take a look at, uh, an important piece of this, is the general page for our class. And you can see right under my Math 105 class here, I'll click the general setting. And any posts that I make here will show up on this general setting. Any assignments will show up on this general setting. Now, one thing that will happen if you've not been in Teams, up in the top right corner here, you can see this bell is unclicked. But you can see right there, you want to allow all the messages for this channel to go through. I think the default is that it's, I'm going to be muted. So you want to go ahead and first unmute me, which you can see I am unmuted there. Uh, the next thing you want to do is when I post an assignment here, you view the assignment. Okay, so once you open an assignment, there'll be some instructions listed. And then usually when we have an assignment here, I'm going to have you attach some work to there. So you can see by halfway down here on the left, it says attach icon. So I'll click on the attach icon. And then it asks me what I want to use. And what we're going to use is scan to PDF. We don't want to take a photo because photos take up a lot of data. So it looks like the fifth one down there is scan to PDF. So I'm going to click scan to PDF. And then what I do is I hold it over my document. A lot of times it helps to have your document on a dark background. So you can see I have mine set on the table here. So I'm going to go ahead and click the photo button there to scan the first page. And then it's going to ask me down in the lower right here to confirm. Uh, and so it looks good to me. It looks like it's scanned well. So I'll click confirm. Now, a lot of times we're going to scan more than one document. And so now you can see down in the lower left, the little camera icon with the plus sign. So I want to add another photo. And so then I'll go ahead and line it up here again, scan that document, confirm that it was a good picture. Now notice once I click that add one time, it knows that I want to add more than one page. So at this point, I could click continue to scan as number of pages, however many pages I have. But when I'm done, I'm going to hit this purple arrow to the right there. Click the purple arrow to the right. I can look at my scans again and make sure they look good. And then I'm going to click Done. And now it's uploading those to the Microsoft Teams site. Once those are uploaded, top right corner, you'll see the little icon for Turn In. So I'll hit Turn In. Um, if we go back to the Teams here where my Teams are listed, Here's another really nice addition to Teams, and that is the chat feature. So down in the lower left there, you can see I can click the chat button, and you can see that I've been chatting with some other folks here. And if you want to search for somebody to chat with, you just type up here. And if, you, for example, you wanted to start chatting with me, Graham Smith, you just start typing it in, and you can see Teams has already got us kind of in a group here at KCC. So as I start to type that name in, you could see my name will pop up, click on it, and then you could type a message to me. Um, you can take a photo and send it to me. A lot of times students, when they're struggling with their work, what I like you to do is just take a quick uh, shot of your work that you're doing, send me your question, and I can kind of help you out quickly. And if we're texting back and forth and it's not working, you can see if the type pop right there, you can hit the phone call button and you can give me a phone call as well so we can chat through something if you have questions. So I think that will get us started on Teams. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and use that chat button there, that chat feature in Teams, and text me.